let's begin from the top we were, i was just talking about what situate what is the situation um under the current circumstances in netherlands um as i said many uh, many countries universities across across the world have gone online including probably in your own home country so that is no different under the current circumstances uh, netherlands is also offering courses online for most of their students and courses but netherlands is opening their economy in fact they're opening it as soon as june 15 they've done an excellent job of containing the virus in fact they've called the 1.5 meter economy because they have been so good about implement, implementing that social distancing 1.5 meter policy that they are called the 1.5 meter economy and it is expected that when the june 15th their economy opens up they will still be able to diligently follow the social distancing norms which is how they have been able to contain the virus uh that said we are also having positive news on the vaccine front uh, there are american companies which have uh, done very well on the first round of testing on the vaccine there is news that there will be a vaccine available by the end of the year if not by early next year so we do we are quite optimistic that there will be a vaccine which is available soon and by the time you are ready to go to college uh, or go to the university for your higher studies um things will be quite different from what it is uh, today so we do have we do expect that uh, the next year things will look quite different on the covid front right so we are quite optimistic on that um so that said uh, netherlands is opening up this uh, week this coming week they are opening up they are opening up their economy to some european countries uh, and they will see an influx of uh, tourists as well as uh, visitors to their country from other euro, euro zone countries um and slowly we do believe that as they are more successful in implementing both social distancing measures as well as uh, when we get a vaccine that the governments will be able to relax these restrictions more and more and they have had a very good policy of having a central policy on covid measures but also having a way of uh, implementing these policies at a, a local and neighborhood level as needed in their respective communities so they are doing very well as far as containing the covid goes and we hope that they will uh, do very well once the rest restrictions are relaxed somewhat uh, starting june 15 right so now that we have some news on how they are functioning with the covid-19 let us move on to what you may be doing as you plan your higher education journey many of you are probably thinking of fall 2021 uh, which is a good intake to consider under these circumstances uh, then why do we go for netherlands given that there is some positive news already uh, it is also important to know that netherlands as a destination is very important because of the european high standards of their european quality education which is maintained uh, and uh, executed by the accreditation organization of the netherlands and flanders which oversees higher education institutions in netherlands which makes sure that the quality of higher education is not diminished within netherlands so this accreditation is very valuable as you will receive an international quality education from netherlands at an affordable cost because the cost of education in netherlands is subsidized by the government which is why they are able to keep the cost so low even for international students uh, it is a research oriented and professional education um, uh, some of the universities which focus heavily on research uh will give you research degrees but there are, for those of you who are not interested in research um their engineering and management programs are excellent and you want to consider these engineering and management programs uh in the universities of applied sciences um which may be more suitable for you than the more research oriented programs right so many of our students are interested in engineering and management anyway so these programs will be great the teaching style uh at netherlands is very important because other than improving your subject knowledge which is the goal of all education they also focus on improving your team teamwork skills problem solving skills and critical thinking skills these um, uh, these skills are very very important because uh, companies across the world are looking for employers uh, employees 
uh, who are able to work in teams to solve problems and think critically about the problems that we have and then come up with the best solutions to solve these problems. So the teaching style really cultivates this early enough in at the university that you are very well equipped to functional function uh, across teams, across functional teams, as well as cultural teams, because you've had the international exposure of Dutch tradition, but because Netherlands also has an extensive international community, you will also be equipped to deal with cross-cultural teams, which is vital to companies as cross-cultural teams create innovation and creativity that offers the most cutting edge solutions that cut custom, uh, com companies are seeking for their customers worldwide, right? So the international exposure is extremely important to be very employable uh, at multinational companies. And the biggest advantage is you will be studying in a European country in a language that you're probably already familiar with. Many of us come from English speaking countries where our system of education, uh, mode of education is in the English language all, with, all the way from high school to college. So if you've already had this great exposure of having studied an English language, you don't have to spend any time learning another foreign language. Right. So that's a great advantage of studying in Netherlands because there are many courses that are offered in English, taught in English, and culturally the use of English is quite wide uh, in Dutch culture. Right. So you're already very, uh, very prepared for um, functioning in Dutch society. And studying in Netherlands is less expensive than studying in any other English speaking country. As I said before, the government subsidizes their education uh, and therefore they are able to make it very affordable. Uh, the annual tuition fee, tuition fee ranges from 8,000 to 20,000 euros. And this amount can be cheaper for higher education than some institutions in your own home country for an engineering or management degree, for example. So it's a great uh, place to consider for a degree at an affordable cost. A cost of living is about 800 to 1,000 euros, which is uh, not unusual for most European countries. It's still within the standard cost at any European country. Um, even though you may come from an English speaking country and have an English background, in your education, you are still required to submit a TOEFL or IELTS for an English proficiency test to ensure that you will be successful in their curriculum. Right? So you will still be required to submit a TOEFL or an IELTS score. So to summarize some of the advantages, you are going to get a world-renowned degree in engineering or management or other programs that you may choose for, but engineering and management being very important programs in their country. The Netherlands is home to more than 3,000 MNCs, multinational corporations, which means when you use your stay back option um, of 12 months, you will find that there are employers uh, who are easily accessible within that geography. And if you choose to look for employment in the Eurozone, that is also possible because Netherlands is the gateway to Europe making travel affordable and efficient to other parts of Europe, of course, with the right, with the right uh, travel authorizations, right? So there are many, many advantages to considering uh, Netherlands. Uh, to summarize, it's the top quality accredited education, which is recognized worldwide at an affordable cost, uh, where English is a medium of instruction and business language and also used widely in their culture. So there's no burden on the student to learn a new language. Um, it is internationally recognized degrees, which gives you, opens the doors to thousands of MNCs. And a stay back option of 12 months to look for a job. Right. So these are great advantages to consider when looking at a destination for your higher studies. So these are some of the top universities and some of these are listed within the top 200 worldwide, right? So very, very competitive uh, in terms of higher education options if you find some of the other destinations to be more expensive. So how to apply for universities in Netherlands? Uh, it, there is an online application. You fill the online application, submit your transcripts, 
uh, submit your TOEFL official scores of your TOEFL and IELTS. You'll need a statement of purpose, resume, an application fee, uh, and any other additional documents or test scores or fees required by your program. Right. So pretty simple, uh, pretty simple process. And of course, we can help you through most of this. Um, if you're applying, um, uh, uh, some some of them can apply through the study link. The study link, of course, is primarily for undergraduate students, but there might be a couple of graduate programs that use the study link also. But however, uh, universities also use the Dutch universities, their own uh, direct uh, application links, which are available online. Right. So those are important to think about. Uh, and most of the documentation, you will simply upload it to, through, through their online portals. Right. So those are some things that um, think about. Now, because the Dutch education system is is, is so affordable and, and so rec well recognized worldwide, there might be some courses which are oversubscribed and comes under the numer numerous fixes. So to get a place in one of these courses, you will need to be successful in a, in a, in a lottery. So there will be a little bit more information you will need on some of these courses which are oversubscribed, right? So either talk to your university um, or talk to your counselor to get more information on these specific numerous fixes courses. So here again is a summary of the cost. Uh, tuition fee will be about 8,000 to 20,000 euros per year. And the cost of living will be from you know, 9,600 to 13,200 per year, depending on the city and also your lifestyle, right? So these are some of the expenses for you to think of. These are annual expenses for you to consider uh, as you uh, apply for programs. It is better to be prepared before you apply for the program to be financially ready. Financial readiness is very important in higher education because there are scholarships that are available to students, but we encourage students to uh, be first financially ready because scholarships are not guaranteed and it's very, very competitive. Scholarships is a very competitive business. So if you're serious about higher education abroad, one needs to be financial, financially ready. Um, people use different types of funds uh, for their higher education. One will be um personal funds of course sponsor funds uh, which is either parents or relatives sponsor a student uh, and of course there is a loan option so these are options for you to consider to be financially ready in advance of applying uh, because we cannot assume that there will be a funding available if you're a great student then you will be able to uh, apply for and get funding but financial readiness is still imperative Right. So these are some of the numbers that you'll have to be prepared for to spend towards your education. You can see that the cost of living uh, per year is pretty close to the cost of tuition. So keep that in mind uh, as you plan for your uh, living expenses as well. So planning financially ahead of applying is important so that you, you know how you're going to afford your studies. But then there are scholarships too. So planning academically is also important. Now, uh, Netherlands does not require a GRE uh, score for most of their courses. So how you are doing in your undergraduate courses and your undergraduate preparation for admission is very vital here. Uh, they will accept letters of recommendation, but how you have performed academically is very, very vital. So make sure that when you're applying to these very competitive schools, you have the adequate academic preparation to apply for these programs. Um, that said, you can also apply for scholarships that are available at many of these universities. And then there are also um, country specific scholarships like the Erasmus Mundus, which is country specific. And then you have some uh, university specific scholarships like the Radbound scholarship program, which is specific to the Radbound university, right? So there are country specific scholarships and university specific scholarships. So please, again, visit the website of your university to see what scholarships you will be eligible for so that you apply for those as well. 
So the next thing, uh, now that you have seen the advantages of applying to Netherlands, you understand that their engineering and management programs are great, and uh, you you uh, know how to apply for it and the how to financially plan for it, and that you also uh, could apply for some scholarships. Once you receive an admit, you will need a visa to. Uh, Enter Netherlands, right? For most countries, uh, for 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 some countries, uh, they only need the entry visa or the or a Schengen visa, depending on or if you're from the eurozone, um, the requirements will be different. But if you're from any other country, uh, like India or any other Asian country, you will need an entry visa and a residence permit, right? So international office of your university will apply for both your entry visa and your residence permit, which doesn't mean you don't have to do anything yourself. The university will start this procedure as soon as you're admitted. As soon as you're admitted, they will ask you to submit some forms. They will ask you to provide the necessary documentation and also pay the necessary fees so that they could process your MBV with the Dutch Immigration and Naturalization Services. Right. So you will submit the documents to your university who will submit it, who will who acts as your host and submits your documentation to the Dutch Immigration and Nationalization Services. Once your MBV or your entry visa is approved, they will intimate your host university. And the host in, in university will give you information that your visa MBV has been approved. Now, if you once your MBV, you have received information that your MBV is approved. You have to make an appointment with the Dutch embassy for your to collect your MBV. And when you make that appointment, you have to com uh, to complete the MBV issue form. You will need your passport and photocopy uh, of the personal details page of your passport. You have to meet the you have to provide them uh, two photographs which meet the Dutch requirements for the passport photo, a copy of the letter stating that your application, MBV application has been approved and your alien registration number called the V number, right? And you should submit all of these documents along with all other documents listed in the letter from the IND and a photocopy of each of these documents. Once you've submitted all these forms with your, uh, with your uh, embassy or the VFS, your MBV will be ready for you to collect within 15 days. Right, so pretty streamlined the visa process because much of the documentation collection and checking is taken care of by the university. The next step is to make sure that you get the stamp, MBV stamp on your passport. So all of these documents that you're submitting is to get that MBV stamp. Right. So you submit these documents, which are again verified, you get your MBV stamp, collect your MBV and travel to the Netherlands with your MBV in your passport. Now, after you arrive at the university, the international office will inform you about the steps you need to take in order to get a residency card. Uh, residency card is what you will need for a long stay. The MBV, as I said, is only an entry visa. The residence permit card is not required for many, many countries, right? So if you are if you if you are from a country that requires a residence permit, then you will have to uh, process your residence permit also through the international office, and they will also ask you to do a TB test is TB test if applicable. So these are the basic steps of applying for a visa. So you can see that Netherlands is a lucrative destination. To pursue your higher studies you can see that applying to their programs is very simple you don't have to study a foreign language if you are already from an english speaking country so you'll still have to present a, a, a an english proficiency score uh, apply get admitted and get the university's assistance to process your visa and you're ready to travel pretty easy However, admissions is competitive, which is why you're going to need our help, right? Because these 
universities are very competitive in the rankings they are competitive in cost so people across the eurozone and also other parts of the world are interested in capitalizing on the advantages that netherlands has to offer so admissions is very competitive so you're going to need our help in order to put your best foot forward as you apply so how can we help you with the admissions and visa process first we will guide you with university shortlisting we will identify your interest we have a profile form on our galvanize portal we will request you to input your information on the galvanize portal once we analyze your uh, profile we will match it up to the admission requirements of the university and make our recommendation to uh, shortlist your universities once the universities are shortlisted we will guide you with documentation which is the statement of purpose letters of recommendation and resume which are all important documentation the university will look into to review your profile holistically so you will submit your transcripts but that's not the only thing they consider they will look at your statement of purpose um uh recommendation letters and resume we have elaborate forms on our galvanize galvanize portal that we use uh to call out how you as a candidate will be unique and different from other candidates who are applying for similar programs at similar universities so we have acceptance rates acceptance acceptance rate at universities anywhere from 5% to 75% then acceptance rates are so varied and some colleges being very selective we want to make sure that you are able to stand out from other applicants right and the way for you to stand out is using your voice through the statement of purpose that is a recommendation and highlighting your achievements and responsibilities in your resume we will show you how to do it in a manner that will make you a stand out candidate right and finally visa guidance as you can see i've given you an overview of how the visa process works for netherlands you might need have questions and need guidance with specific things uh, as you process your visa papers through the university so we will be able to guide you through all the questions that you have as you are presenting your papers for your visa application Right, so these are the three important steps of your um, higher education process. Now, while we will be guiding you through a lot of these very difficult decisions, we also understand that the student has a lot of responsibilities, and we want to make sure that you understand what your responsibilities are uh, as we navigate this um, higher education environment. first of all you must have a valid passport means it should be valid at the time at least 6 months out of your matriculation date so the check the validity date on your passport other than that very importantly check your name as it appears on the passport because you will your the name as it appears in the passport will be used throughout your admissions process the name as as it appears on the passport will appear on your application will appear on your visa documents will appear on your financial documents will appear on everything so the name that appears on your passport has to be accurate which means you should not have a first name unknown or last name unknown on your passport if your passport has a first name unknown or last name unknown please apply for a new passport okay so that's very important you have to have a valid passport in every way from expiration date to the details your personal details on the passport make sure that you have electronic mark sheets or transcripts for all your courses and degrees that you attended majority of the time universities require you to upload semester by semester mark sheets or transcripts you have to be able to upload these documents wherever required right so make sure you have a a, a a a copy of each semester with the grading scale on it right so you should not just list the courses but it should also have the university's grading scale uh, and if you have completed your degree you should have your degree certificate as well right so keep an electronic copy of all of your transcripts for all degrees earned additionally some universities may require that official transcripts be couriered to them 
which means you should have official or attested transcripts in sealed envelopes so the envelope should contain the seal of the university and it should not be tampered with which means the seal has to be closed right so you should have electronic as well as paper transcripts ready to send to the university and that is your responsibility to procure that from your university complete the galvanized profile form on time so please don't wait to provide your information on the galvanized profile form because this profile evaluation is vital for us to match your credentials to the university's entry requirements right so we need the profile form information in a timely manner uh, whatever standardized tests are required of you make sure you registered for it um, within time and i say within time because if it's an english proficiency score it's only valid for 2 years right so make sure that your test score that you take is going to be valid when you matriculate to the university so the validity of your test score is very important as well as how you score on the test some universities are very very specific about the band score of each of the sections of the toefl or the ielts right so you need to make sure that not only your overall score is good but your band score in each of the sections is also acceptable for the university um as i said the sop lor and resume are the three documents that really help you stand out from other other candidates uh, for your admissions process so make sure that you complete the form and you respond to these forms truthfully and provide original content in submitting these forms so that we will be able to help you draft and i reiterate and uh, finalize your documents for submission and right. you will uh, also apply will help you with apply will will help you with documentation for six universities right so each of these six universities may have very very specific requirements for their essays um so we will expect that you have understood the instructions on the application portal and you are providing the instruction to the editors in order to make sure that we are able to give you essays that are tailored for your specific university right so make sure you understand the application requirements very well and provide those instructions to us so that we can customize your sop and your uh, uh, other essays for university specific requirements and finally you will finalize six universities on the portal and uh, make sure that your essays are completed for all of those six universities customized to apply to the universities you will create accounts on the online portals you will provide all of your data as required by the university and upload all of the documents required by the university on the portal uh, you should report your requisite test scores directly through the testing agency you should ensure that your recommendation letters are submitted before the deadline and that your test scores also reach the university before the deadline this is very important because we have a lot of last minute students who love doing things just around the deadline and if your uh, recommenders do not submit your recommendation letters before the deadline or your test scores don't reach these applications are at very much a high risk of getting disqualified so please work with your recommenders to get it done on time and also make sure your reports test scores are reported on time where necessary you will have to courier the financial documents as well as transcripts to the universities if they require a courier to be sent right so these are all things that you make sure you have to make sure that you do uh, if you have any questions on any of these we will be able to assist you and to complete the visa again here also you will have to create the accounts submit all of your data and the documents that are requested by the visa doc, uh, officer uh, or the visa application application process uh, and you will attend a guidance session with your counselor to make sure that you are following the process requirements and if a visa interview is required you will appear for the visa interview as well uh, but in case of netherlands mostly it is just a biometrics and submission of documents so 
How does Galvanize help you? We have several packages that we offer our students. We have premium students and well, and we have our exclusive students. We have uh, differentiated our premium students from our exclusive students because of the amount of coaching involved in the exclusive cases much higher. So for example, uh, some very high end uh, highly competitive MS programs and MBA programs require a little more long term planning approach in order to be uh, viable for admission because they are so much more competitive. We offer direct coaching to our exclusive students on how to become competitive every all the way from choosing the right courses in their uh, undergrad to picking really strategic as well as challenging projects to complete. Um, we offer career guidance workshops on how to manage their career uh, while in grad school and beyond. So how to look for jobs. Um, and of course, we also offer a lot of video guide essay guidance because some of these competitive schools that they apply to have uh, extra requirements for their application. Right. So we offer our exclusive package to students who are considering very competitive programs and we offer them assistance on building their competitiveness early on to apply to these competitive programs. So we offer both strategic guidance as well as planning out uh, their activities and supporting them through making sure that they are on target to meet those strategic objectives laid out to be very competitive for these higher education programs. Right. So that is our exclusive package, which is at uh, 99,999 for MS students and for MBA students, it is 1, 1, 1,49,999. If you are interested in availing discounts, please contact our team and we will tell you what discounts you are eligible for. So that is for our exclusive package. Our premium package is for students who may be considering competitive programs, but are also open minded to consider all programs that are best for the efforts that they have already made. So based on where you what you have already done uh, without changing your plans too dramatically or without having you to do too much additional work, uh, we will see where you are today based on your current accomplishments and we will recommend programs based on that. So in our premium package, we don't necessarily uh, make you add a lot more to your already accomplished profile, right? So you're, you're probably already done a lot of different things that have interested you. So we won't be making you do any more things uh, that are outside of the goals that you have set for yourself. So there is no new goal setting. Uh, there might be some new goal setting, but there is not a whole lot of changes to what you have already done. We may suggest a few things that make you a little bit more competitive, which may involve a little bit more, more work from your side uh, and also work from ours. But uh, basically working with uh, things that you have already done, analyzing what you have done, uh, analyzing how you can capitalize your effort, efforts you have already undertaken to build a great application. Right. So this is taking what we already have and moving it forward. Whereas with the exclusive package, we may have to do a lot of construction work. It is we may have to do a lot more building up of the profile uh, in order to make the candidate construct, uh, make the candidate more competitive. So in the exclusive case, there is a much more long term component. So you might be required to sign up a lot earlier, whereas for the counseling premium counseling package, uh, it's usually within the time frame that we expect. So that is one year prior to your um, application year, right? So the MS package is offered in the premium level at about 39,999. Uh, the doctorate package is offered at 64,999 and the MBA package at premium is offered at 64,999. The reason why we have even within the premium, why we have different packages for MS doctorate and MBA is because of the level of uh, input required for these applications are uh, quite significantly higher. So for example, a doctorate package uh, may require you to not just have a statement of purpose, letter of recommendation and an SOP, but it may also have you to evolve some sort of a research statement. And our counselor will work with you to help you evolve your research statement. Um, 
uh, for our MBA programs, there are other things that you need to consider, not just your uh, essays, but also to see how you can uh, build your application a little bit more competitively in terms of some of the other extracurricular activities that you need to plan in the future while you're at the university. So many of the applica applications will require you to talk about why this particular university, which means you have to have a pretty strong understanding of each of the six MBA programs that you're applying to. And each of those six MBA programs, all of the, although their coursework might be very similar, they might be very some, something very different about things that you can do within each program. So you'll have to have a pretty good understanding of that. And so we will guide you through uh, differentiating these unique aspects towards your application. So the work involved in all of these cases is quite different. So we have differential pricing even within the premium category. So if you want to know more about this uh, or what discounts you're eligible for, please contact our team and we will help you with that.